I'm really thrilled to be here in uh, Doha in Qatar, and it's a very uh, exciting, thriving art scene. I always enjoy when I come to go to the fire station and at Alri Walk, or I've enjoyed very much the National Museum, the Islamic Museum. So it's a really thriving art scene. You can tell that by just looking at the landscape and looking how people are celebrating uh, Istanbul. You know, if I would have to think about the inspiration behind my work, it would be everyday life, everyday objects. Because what I'm really interested in is life itself. When we come across objects that we like, it, it's wonderful to be uh, excited, stimulated by them in different ways about the essence of our own potential. That's the art. It's not the object. It's the essence of our own potential that is of value. it would really be to trust in yourself. And if you trust in yourself, there's only one other thing that we can do, and that is to follow our interests. It'll take you to a universal vocabulary, and that's really where time and space bend, and you're able to connect to things that have as much meaning to yourself as to anyone around you. My friendship with uh, Qatar really began about 21 years ago. I was invited to come to Qatar through uh, Sheikh Saud Athami, and uh, I've been really very happy to be able to continue that relationship and to come back for many different events, to see the exhibition of Damien Hirst and many other exhibitions. It's been an ongoing relationship. Jeff Koons is one of the most famous contemporary artists in the world. He's an American artist. He definitely uh, has a playful mind that explores different ideas, different methodologies, and you will be able to see that really truly through his journey here. Um, there are different scales of his work and really reflective um, both in actual material, but also in his creation and his ideas of his work. If you're coming in with your family and the young kids, there will be a family guide that you will be able to see how to interact with the artwork, what kind of journeys you can take. Also, um, a lot of instructions about what to do in a gallery, specifically of not touching the artwork, as this is the museum etiquette. You can definitely expect surprises, large-scale artworks, incredible journey of the artist through his voice and his childhood and a lot of um, ideas of how he thought about his work, how it came about to create these artworks, also some of the technical parts of the, of the artwork. I'm so honored and I'm thrilled to be here, to be able to have an exhibition that hopefully you will have an ability to interact with. Uh, cultural exchange is fantastic. I want to say in a very uh, wholehearted, uh, deeply felt way, I love Qatar.